Hi guys! I'm back again and I'm so sorry that I didn't post a video on Tuesday. I was so beat. I have literally just moved back in my apartment after getting a brand new kitchen installed and it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm still a bit lost and it, it ju just took a while to put all my things back in and all that. It, it just it takes a lot of one. Moving all your stuff, all your kitchen stuff out and in again it's a half moving load it is so hard it is so hard but anyway i'm back and this is my go-to look of november my everyday look i have this stock version but i'm also showing you a a nude version a light version which i actually um, sported when i was at my parents uh, last week's because of my dad doesn't like a dad lip but my mom doesn't like uh, black eyeliner on me me for some reason. It, she says it looks me look angry. What do you think? Does it look, make me look angry? I don't think so. Anyway, um, if you want to see how I do this look, then keep on watching. All right guys, I'm priming my lids to begin with. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't included my foundation routine and brow routine, it's because it's the same as last month. So you can just check out that video if you want to know. So that was my NYX HD eyeshadow base used. I'm just using it all the time. It's so great. It really holds the eyeshadow in place. In this tutorial I'm using my Maybelline The Nudes palette. I have really been loving it throughout November. So I'm taking my BH Cosmetics crease brush and I'm taking this top color right here. And I'm applying that to my crease. I just washed these brushes last night. Oh. They were so filthy, you know, when I just reached that state where it just looks cakey when you're applying everything. So, yeah, you, you wash your brushes. My skin was also breaking out. So nice. I'm just applying it to my crease and lower lash line to make it cohesive. And I'm taking my Real Techniques shading brush and I'm taking this antique gold color. It's sort of also a little bit of bronzy, but it just depends on the light. And in daylight, it really looks like an antique gold, and it's so beautiful. I'm applying that to the lid itself. On up to the crease color. Take my BS Cosmetics blending brush and just blending the two colors so it looks smooth and even. No harsh line. Now I'm taking my BS Cosmetics angled shadow brush and I'm taking this, yeah, cream color. You can call it that. It's matte. And this is just my highlight color, as you can see. Just three colors, nothing fancy, just quick and easy. It's super effective. For my eyeliner, I'm taking my Elf Cream Eyeliner in black and lining my top lash line just a, without a wing. And then for my upper lash line, I'm applying my Maybelline uh, Master Drama Coal Liner in Ultra Black. And then I'm going to show you two versions of a uh, of an eyeliner. I'm going first in with my Sephora um eyeliner in infinite beige is just a nude color a skin tone and then the other one is the dark one uh the black one and then i'm going to curl my lashes and apply the maybelline lash sensational waterproof mascara so i'll be right back with the nude one and there we go the, with a nude eyeliner that makes you look awake and yeah uh, with this nude one i'm also going to show you with a nude lip so you also look awake i, I used the, i used that look when i was at my parents home just parents place uh, yeah just last week now i'm going to contour my face with my nyx blush and taupe you can't get this just in the the one that's called hd blush now so it hasn't been continued yet well, at least from this line, just the normal regular blush. I have to go up to the HD blush. So I'm just contouring the regular places. Place, places, but can't talk. Just getting into filming again. There. Oh, 
always blend down the neck. Then I'm taking my MAC Wins International blush in Peachy, that is the name I've called it. It was uh, one of the blushes I got in my advent calendar some years ago. I'm taking my Resinex blush brush and just putting, applying that to my cheek. And for highlighter, my trusty Mary Luminizer by the Bomb and my Beast Cosmetics highlight brush. I can't live without a highlight these days, so on with that, baby. It's the usual places. And now for the nude lip color. This is the um, Gush, one of the Gush lipsticks that I own, and this is just called Nude. It's a peachy, brownish color. It's really nice and it's has been, yeah, as you can see, I've used a lot of it. I just really love it. So on with this, then you're going to see the, yeah, more the fresh look. Here's the new version of the look. It's popping on the bottom so you can see. It looks so much awake and uh, yeah, I, the reason why I sported a new um, eyeliner and a nude lip at home is because I know my dad just loathes yeah, dark lips but my mom loves it but she doesn't like me with a black eyeliner on my lower lash on my lower waterline she, she's, she thinks it makes me look angry for some reason but this is the nude version now we're going to go over to the dark version I'm just going to take my Master Drama Cold Eyeliner in Ultra Black by Maybelline and pop that on my waterline now now for the dark lip, I'm taking one another gush lipstick that I have, and this is called Night Kiss. It is a gorgeous color, as you can see. It is so stunning. So, on with this. And there we go. The, the finished look. This is the look I love the most. And yeah, on with the color so I can see again. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love this lip color. Which one did you prefer most? The light side or the dark side? It's that was question almost. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So remember to subscribe, comment and like this video if you liked it because it, because it really helps me a lot. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and on my blog. And then I will see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye!